everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about library books and how to build and organize your classroom library. Let's get started. So before we get into how to organize your classroom library books, I just wanna kind of explain how I decorated my classroom library little nook area. These words are the kindergarten sight words for my district, so it's perfect having those words up there. The kids are on the carpet and we could read off of those posters, so it's very, very useful. I got these pillows from the Target Dollar section over the summer. My classroom library theme is boho rainbow, so I love that little boho rainbow pillow in the corner. And the read letters are from the dollar section at Target as well. Um, it's perfect to put in the classroom library because we really want to encourage students to read. All right, so the first thing that I want to talk about today is where you should get your classroom library books for cheap. The first resource that all of you guys should look into is ask your family and your close friends if they have any old children's books laying around their houses that are boxed up, they don't need them anymore. Ask them if they're willing to donate them to your classroom library. Take whatever you can get. Just start collecting, collecting, and building your classroom library. Number two, you guys should check up local garage sales and yard sales. Guys, I got a lot of these books from yard sales. Just whenever you're driving, if you see a yard sale, just stop by whatever you're doing. Just stop by really quick, check if there's any books, just collect them, whatever you can get. Number three, you guys should look into thrift stores, Goodwill. Luckily in my area, there's a Goodwill bookstore. They only sell books and it's pretty amazing. Majority of these books are from that Goodwill bookstore. All their books are either a dollar if they're paperback, maybe $3 if they're hardcover. Oh my gosh, guys, tons of books are at those stores. Please check those out. You guys will get a ton of amazing things. All right, so the first thing that you guys should do when you have all of your classroom library books, you get the keys to your first classroom and you wanna start organizing, get all of them and dump all of them on the floor. That's literally what I did. I was so overwhelmed. I had my older sister help me I just didn't know how to organize them into these bins. What are the themes gonna be? What are the categories? So once all of your books are in that big pile, what you should do is just start organizing them by any category you could think of. Literally anything, whether it's Disney, animals, school, princesses, monsters, anything you could think of, just put them in different piles. So once your books are in your piles, you gotta look are these piles too big? Are they too small? So for example, I had an animal pile. It was huge. I didn't even realize how many animal books I had. And from there, I made smaller categories. So I have a dog and cat's bin because I had enough dog and cat books to make its own bin. I had zoo animal bins. Okay, so if your books are about animals at the zoo, like elephants, lions, tigers, that have its own bin. And I also have a bin just about bears because I had enough bear books to make its own bin. So that's an example of how to make a big pile into smaller different piles. So now that you have your bins, now that you know the categories of how you're organizing your classroom library, go on Teachers Pay Teachers and search classroom library bins or classroom library labels. There are a ton that you can pick out for your classroom library that match your theme that you just think is super cute in general. And if one of your piles is a little too small to make its own bin, try to look into putting those books into other bins. So now let's talk about where to get your classroom library book bins. I got all of mine from the dollar section at Target. Over the summer, Target dedicates their dollar section to teachers and they sell all of these bins for a dollar. You have your larger ones and your thinner ones. Okay, so they have all kinds of colors. Luckily, I was able to get rainbow colors because that matches my theme in my classroom. So I have a few red, orange, yellow, and green. Unfortunately, as you guys could see, I don't have any blue book bins, but it's okay. I found those blue pillows that make up for it. So now I wanna get into the specific classroom library book bins I have. First up, we have bears. Those are all my bear books. Favorite authors. Let's see what's in this book bin. We have the Tooth Fairy series, Gingerbread, Gingerbread Man Loose series. We have Pete the Cat. 
Pete the Cat, Llama Llama, because I have a ton of these books, Pinkalicious. So these are some favorite authors that is really popular for kindergarten. Let's see, up next we have stories about friends. We have animals, more animals, and Elephant and Piggy. Elephant and Piggy is one of my favorite book series. I love, love, love these stories. They're from Mo Willems. You guys should really check it out. So the next section in my classroom library, we have science, we have school, Disney, weather and seasons. This bin I had to get creative because um, I just combined a few different things that were somewhat related. Um, so we have dinosaurs, monsters, and ocean. We have books all about feelings because that's very important to teach in kindergarten. And then we have some informational textbooks. So my last section of my classroom library has been on cats and dogs, holidays, and Dr. Seuss. As you can see, there's still room in my classroom library because I'm a third year teacher. I'm still pretty new to the teaching world and all the advice that I just gave you guys, I still do that. I still go to yard sales. I still go to thrift stores, all right? And I'm still asking all of my friends and families for books, okay? I take whatever I can get and those future books will be in this area. All right, so something that I learned after my first year of teaching is that these kids will make your classroom library very unorganized. Even though I taught them at the beginning of the year that there's bins, that there's different categories. Look at the picture on the bin. The bear bin should have bear books. The cats and dogs bin should have cats and dog books. But of course, I teach kindergarten, so all of my books would be all over in the wrong bin. So here's something that you can do to prevent that. You can see on my bins, I do have little stickers with the same color and a number. So if a student is ever confused of where they should put their bin in every book, I tell the kids, open it up, look on the corner, and find the sticker. So this book should go in the red bin with the number one. So that did take a lot of time, I'm not gonna lie, but it's so worth it, guys. My classroom library, my second and third year so far, have been much more organized because the students know where to put them. So just get those little colored stickers from Staples or Office Depot or the dollar store, and it will be worth it in the end, I promise. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. It means the world to me. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do plan on making more fun videos about kindergarten, teaching, classroom decorating, all that fun stuff. And if you haven't yet, please follow me on social media. I have Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Everything is at kinderqueen123. All right guys, so thank you again. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.